So, gentlemen, um, let's come back to the nitty gritty first mm. before we talk about the finals itself. Mm. You were talking about crowd violence, yeah. and then say blatter. Either because I don't, I'm, I'm sorry. Either because he needs African votes. <laughs> said that violence is uh, exaggerated, exa exaggerated. Mm. and then the uh, calf went on to uh, find them one hundred thousand dollars or whatever. Yeah. I mean, is that not a slap on the wrist? Mm. <laughs> there, there, there's something about the sense of entitlement that the Equatorial Guineans probably had going into this competition. You yeah. know, um, probably they have more uneducated fans. They would like to feel that okay, um, having rescued, so to say, uh, the Afcon competition itself from postponement and all that, having hosted, then also about home court advantage, home field advantage. Mm. They should want decisions to go that way, and. You know, um, CAF naturally will want to be a little bit subtle in whatever punishment they are giving because, I mean, they, they've done very, very well hosting the, uh, the, the, the tournament mm -hmm. at the end of the day, so they would not really want to go too hard on them. You might say it's a slap on the wrist, but we need to also consider the fact that they must put up a balancing act. Okay, so that, that balancing act includes Sir Blatter saying it was a, an exaggeration. Probably, if the visuals are ready, we can <laughs> also probably we'll see them. Uh, let's see where stones have been thrown mm. into, and then provide okay. we're not watching it. Maybe mm. Blatter alone watch that. I don't understand. Projectiles and missiles being being thrown. It's it, 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 actually coaches everybody around the running. I mean, it's, it's not good for our football. The Blatter is exaggerated. Well, I mean, there are a lot of comments that do come from either Sir Blatter that a lot of people would read meaning to and say maybe just being political about it especially when we consider also the fact that when we're talking about racism he said okay these things can be settled via handshakes and all that so it tells you a lot about how at times some of these leaders they they they, they probably tend to you know panda does he need our vote he does need our vote <laughs> <laughs> he probably would, he would get our vote <laughs> if we get african vote if we get the asian vote exactly you understand exactly okay, why, why is it like that austin mm -hmm. uh and morocco has just been suspended for the next two editions 2017 and 2019. Mm -hmm. i mean are you saying serve them right or are also is, is this the, 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 the punishment is it too harsh i mean they said because they, put, they had a reason for pulling out. Mm. I mean, there was the, the fear of the Ebola, Ebola. Their citizens. Yeah. So, for goodness sake, why can't we consider that there is a reason why they pulled out? That's the balance Jimmy mm -hmm. is looking for. That balance is the balance. That's the balance. <laughs> balance. I, don't, balance yeah. I don't understand what, I don't understand what's going on. Yeah. Uh, you guys said it's a tap on the on the wrist. A slap on uh, yes, uh, a, a slap, slap on the wrist. Mm -hmm. I think it's the pat on the back. Okay, pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for yeah. helping us. I don't understand where, where where calf is coming from with all of this because pictures don't lie. Yeah. We saw it. A full bottle of water was thrown into mm. the pitch while that Ghana player was getting ready to to, 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 to come into the game. Yeah. Let's go to Morocco. Concerns are concerns. As a nation, they believe that they don't have what it takes to fight the Ebola virus when it was really, really the talk in African food in Africa. They say we cannot. Yes. And totally, it's just an advice that you postpone. If you can postpone, we can organize this thing. Yeah. You know, fine. It would have rubbished African football, no doubt. But we're talking about health concern here. You know, if you were from Morocco, if you were the sports minister in Morocco, and let's say, say um, what's his name, Issa Ayatu, or even Sir Blatter, he's the president, they will not agree that the Nations Cup should be, should be played with the concerns of Ebola. But good thing God is with Africa, and nothing has come up in Equatorial Guinea. But there's nothing wrong in taking measures, in taking, in controlling something that you know can worsen. Prevention, we've been saying it now. It's better than cure. Uh, 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 like my friend would say, <laughs> is there, uh, there a uh, provision store is better than kiosk. Because <laughs> <laughs> you go there and see whatever, you, whatever, you, whatever you, get, you want. Okay. Yes. Mm. All right. Uh, we're going to open the lines now. We're going to open the lines early. We wanted to be part of it because it is the AFCON show, uh, AFCON 2015 show. It is, it is the finals of it is Africa's World Cup final. So we want to hear your voice. I expect, I'm sorry, I'm not being biased, but I want to hear the voice of Ali. I just please <laughs> do call in and let us tell us how you believe Ghana is going to do this. Uh, um, Austin, yeah. 33 years ago, mm. Uh, it was a, uh, it was the Cinderella story. Uh, uh, Nigeria, Ghana just won in seventy eight. Nigeria in eighty, yeah. and then uh, in eighty two, Ghana said they qualified, but they said they are not going because they don't have the money. Yeah. And uh, uh, Muammar Gaddafi says, "Come, I will sponsor you." Yeah. 
come to the tournament last minute. And they say he didn't do anything good. <laughs> <laughs> he sponsored the team. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so he had two teams. Mm -hmm. The okay. Libyan team, team and the, the Ghana team. team, the mm -hmm. team mm -hmm. And both teams played to the final. Final. Mm. In the final, he now said, look, I have gold resources for any team that team will that win. win. It doesn't yeah. really matter whether it was Ghana yeah. or whether yeah. it is yeah. Libya. And the Ghanaians won. Eventually and he won. gave them that mm. gold Race watches, mm. and that is 33 years ago. Look at that. 23 years, that is 10 years later. Yeah. The same Ghanaians got to the final, final. against uh, the Ivorians, Ivorians yeah. and then you have that long penalty kick. Yeah. kick. Yeah. All right, is that you? How do you? How do Yes, Sanyu, how are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Uh, you are going to drop your yeah. number. You with, see? Have you dropped your number with them first? Uh, no, 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 but I'll do that. Okay, you'll do that. Because I wanted to bring you to the program live today. All right. All right. So let's hear you. <laughs> yes. You see, the two brothers. Yes. Are going to leave the cock. Which of them? The star. The star now, of course. The star. <laughs> the black star. <laughs> you see, it's a time of revenge. Okay. Revenge, revenge. There's nothing what the world will do. Yaya Ture can never hide today. Okay. So let me give you the results straight ahead. Okay, give us the results. Ghana 2, Cote d'Ivoire 1. 2-1, two, one, Ghana. Yes, 2-1. All right. Then, uh, okay, please, it's not all the guy referees who are bad. It's a Gambia referee. Gam Gambia referee. Gambia referees are all uh, bad. We all watch Chelsea versus Barcelona. <laughs> Three or four penalties. Clear, clear, clear. <laughs> One football that is bigger than Champions League. And this referee close eyes. But nobody's talking about the guys. The man is a white man. Anything Africa will always go against. Okay. We know there's mistake. But even you know, there are worse than we are than our own there. Then please, Ken. Yes. Help me one complete sports. Ghana are black, not white. <laughs> okay, now what it would be. It's white star. Okay. Red, it's... gold, green. Okay. Black star, not white star. Okay, okay. Who won there? We'll, we'll, we'll 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 After the big Ghana on the 23 1 new. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you made, you made our yeah. day. We made our day. Uh, actually, that, that was the call we expected. Uh, uh, we, we tried to reach out to him. I, I, we hope he has dropped his number. I hope he, he will call back to drop his number so that we can only reach him. He's one of those callers who are consistently who has constantly been with us on this particular show. So uh, today, Ghana is playing in the final. In fact, he, he understands more of Nigerian football than most Nigerians. Suppose when you discuss, Kano when you discuss, suppose Kano Pillars, he gives you the details, and those are the people that we want on, you know, right there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, let us now take off. He says it's going to be two one. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we now they are meeting in the final again. Since Ghana, Ghana, Ghana this is a ninth final. Ninth final. Yeah. They played eight. They won four, lost four. Yeah. yeah. Cote d'Ivoire. This is their fourth. Okay. They played three, won one. one. They won the first. That the first, first one in yeah. in in ninety two. But yeah. the 22, uh, 2006 and 2012, sure. they lost. So uh, uh, how is the sequence? Who is it favoring? Is it Yaya Toure? You saw that blaster mm. of a goal mm. that he, that he, <laughs> that he you opened. Know what, you know what Ghana Cote d'Ivoire did to, to sports analysts and bookmakers? Yes. They just told all of us to shut up yeah. mm. in the semi-final game. Because both of them showed class, they yeah. showed character. Yeah. Yeah. We have a business to do, guys. Let's go out there and do it. Particularly yeah. Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. And while I'm even saying particularly Ghana, I'm remembering, I'm remembering Cote d'Ivoire. We were all questioning Yaya Toure's yeah. display yeah. at this the championship. And all that. He told us, shut up. And it's the final. What? The it is screamed. <laughs> Ken, he screamed into our ears. Mm. He said, guys, I'm the African footballer of the year. It, yes. I have been dominating African football. This is how a fine player scores. This is how it should be done. And now we are in the final. I dare anybody to predict what's going on. How do can do that because it's from Ghana? And if we, in case Ghana doesn't win, and if Ghana should win, he has to come. He has to come. We'll look into his eyes. And, and <laughs> we'll bring him. Fan, I think, I think, I think, I think, in him. I think we'll promise him that uh, uh, if Ghana do win, maybe next week Sunday we'll have Aldo on set with Even us. Even if they don't win, we'll <laughs> we have, have on set with us here. Uh, Jimmy. Christian Atsu, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that is one player also in Ghana. Before this tournament, Very surprising. We, have not, we have not seen the best of him. Yeah. But the guy is saying, I can do it. Exactly. I mean, uh, uh, are you seeing the, the, the Ghana side? How did they talk about vengeance? Okay. We have two sons of Abedi Pele. Yeah. I think Abedi missed that, part, that final because final. of cards. Mm -hmm. I can remember, I think he missed the final because of cards. He didn't play that particular final, final. Uh, which the Ivorians won. They, uh, he got a card against Nigeria in the semi-final or so. So he was not, I think he was not able to play the final. But they say it is, it is vengeance. 
33 is it okay 23 years later 23 years later yeah, some of those boys were not, been, were not born then they were not born no. some of them <laughs> yeah I, I feel that going statistically uh ghana has got this marginal edge when you consider the fact that they had played 41 times mm -hmm. and ghana had won 16 times uh could have won 15 times and they had 10 draws uh, between them. Now, you consider the fact that the Ghanaian team have got players that have, you know, when, when it comes to industry, when it comes to being enterprising, yeah. they've got players that are very, very energetic and, you know, the counter-attacking that they come up with, when it does matter, really, really might count for a lot. But you also consider the fact that some of these players also will have to counter the effects of players like Yaya Toure with individual brilliance, yeah. Wilfred Boni, you know, coming to Javinho. Manchester City and Javinho and, you know, um, most of the time, when you do consider also that Cote d'Ivoire, they are very, very good attack-wise. You also need to consider the fact that they have solidified the back end. The, the defense is now a lot more stronger. They've Genesis considered only three Savi, goals. Savi, Savi I, I mean. I, you, you know, it, 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 this is just an evidence of the fact that we'll be having a very fantastic final. final. Yeah. Maybe the two teams had not lived up to that billions going into, you know, the, the latter stages. But then... What it does matter is that we'll be seeing a final of, you know, juggernauts when it comes to African football. You'll be seeing, you know, uh, vengeance come to play from Ghana. And you also see the fact that they really had longed for this particular final, Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. The brothers coming, you know, the IU brothers and the Toure brothers. I mean, a lot of these things will come and, you know, change you know, some things during the course of the game. At, at a point in time, you feel maybe Ghana will take the day, maybe Ivory Coast will take the day. It tells you that one of these two teams will win, but these are two of the three, four best teams in Africa. Today. Okay, because Ojeda, Ojeda will be blasted by it. <laughs> <laughs> some people have yeah, been in Cameroon, you yeah, remember? The Avrias also beat Cameroon. Algeria? They beat us. So... <laughs> 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 okay, uh, um, I, I, I still want to stay with you, but the lines are still open. You, you, mm. are, you are still part of this calling. Let us hear you. Also, we'll get, we'll get your tweets and read your tweets also before the end of the show. Uh, I, want to, I, I want to stay with you. Um, ha, Irena, you know, uh, uh, came back. He, he was there. He was there in 2012. 2012, yeah. He, went, he came to Kutara, Guinea Kutara, without yeah. his white shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you, <know>. you remember? <laughs> you, you, you see him just patching on the patching there exactly uh, uh it, it, some eight years back he was an assistant coach in ghana in ghana yeah you know so i mean he also understands some of these ghanaian players but he's back to his nature of where he did it where he made his name mm -hmm. coaching the zambian team yeah. um and then on the other side you have evran grant he just mm -hmm. took the job in december mm -hmm. yeah and then we said this is a man also who came in as skeptical coach in Chelsea and went to three five, almost runner up in all competitions. They call him Neerman? Okay, is it going to be? <laughs> I mean, I'm, so that is the question. Is it the nearly man or is it Rene Havre who is going to um, be? It, well, it's always a tough call when it comes to Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana because you need to consider the antecedents and how much they really do want it. The golden generation is always going to be a factor. You ask yourself, after all the clamor to win this AFCON, will they still not get it when they still have, you know, the African Footballer of the Year in that fold? You remember in 1992, Abedi Pele was the captain of that side. It was also the reigning African Footballer of the Year. So you have a lot of people, a lot of Ghanaians, think that maybe history once again will repeat itself with, uh, you know, Yaya Toure being African Footballer of the Year and, and the reverse okay, being the case okay, that Ghana, wins. you know, Ghana might just win. Um, but... I the feel, coaches, yeah. I, I, I feel that Abbe Renard, um, you know, they both got their jobs in November, the two of them, Abbe Renard and Grant. Grant has been more or less like the near man. Uh, Renard has called for African coaches to take African jobs. That's instructive for me. Who I said think so? Abbe Renard said so. So what is it, why, so what is it doing there? What is it doing? I, 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 <laughs> 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 so after all said and done, it's a tough call.